Hello friends, welcome to this very short session on striking features about budget 2020 and in this session we will consider the most important feature of this budget that is the disinvestment target for the government. Okay, so before going to the details of that issue, we will consider the context of the budget. We know that this was an unusually difficult year when there were low revenues the government was about to launch the counter cyclical fiscal policy that itself is featured by reduced revenues and higher expenditure okay so even though the situation was very difficult the government has managed to reduce the fiscal deficit or even to contain the fiscal deficit to around 3.5 percent of the gdp that was a substantial achievement and we know we can see the trend in fiscal deficit from this particular diagram we know that during the last year as per the revised estimate you know the fiscal deficit soared up to 3.8 percent of gdp and for the next year that means for 2020-21 it is estimated to be 3.5 percent of the gdp and we are considering here the most important feature of this year's budget and that is a risk factor the government has set a disinvestment target okay remember a disinvestment target of 2.1 lakh crore rupees and this is a quite unusual figure for a government budget you know you can see that from this diagram you know the disinvestment target is 2.1 lakh crore rupees for 2020-21 okay 2 lakh 10 thousand crore rupees and you go to the previous year's figures it was 1 lakh crores rupees in 2017-18 and it was 80,000 crores rupees in 18-19 and it has increased to 1 lakh 5,000 rupees in 2019-20 that means for the last year you know but for this year it has expanded double okay from 1 lakh 5,000 to 2 lakh 10,000 rupees and this is quite an unusual figure for a government budget and in this diagram we are taking the targets for different years as well as the realized amount you can see that for 2017-18 the target was 1 lakh crores rupees the government realized more than that you know and for 2018-19 the target was 80,000 crores rupees you know and the government realized around 94,000 crores rupees as per the revised estimate and for the last year the target was 1 lakh 5000 crores rupees the government released only 65000 crores rupees remember 1 lakh 5000 crores rupees and the government released only 65000 crores rupees and come to this year that means for the next year's figure 2020-21 the government's target is 2 lakh 10000 crores rupees now we are taking the detailed statement about the next year's disinvestment target okay in this table you can see that the disinvestment receipts in the first column that is around 1 lakh 20 thousand crores rupees that is a target so the second one that is very important that is 90 thousand crores rupees how this 2 lakh 10 thousand crores rupees figures are divided among two components of disinvestment the first one is disinvestment receipts of 1 lakh 20 thousand rupees and that is supposed to be coming from strategic disinvestment exchange traded fund ipos etc and coming to the second component that is disinvestment of government stake in public sector banks and financial institutions including lic okay that's most important you have to consider you have to remember the importance of disinvestment of lic okay and that will fetch the government around 90000 crores rupees so 90 plus 120000 is equal to two lakh ten thousand crores rupees okay and coming into the detailed picture of the government's disinvestment program for the coming year okay it will actually doubling of disinvestment receipts and it is a hole in the government's finances because you know every budget you had to understand from the financial side by considering the size of the disinvestment target okay in budget management disinvestment has been a conventional adjustment item remember it has been considered as an adjustment item when the tax revenues are not coming 
like this year you know or like during the last year there will be high disinvestment targets okay so when other or the conventional or normal type of revenues are not coming the government will be setting high disinvestment target so that is the significance of this is disinvestment target and we are considering the case of lic nobody in the past dare to touch the lic life insurance corporation okay it was concerned with the cash cow of the government ever since its formation in 1956 no wonder selling ps species cannot be much when most of them are in red that means there is the nba situation we know all those trends and, the, and when the government is going to sell its shares in the public sector enterprise only few people will come or there will be low valuations okay in the context of the poor performance of the public sector banks you know and even if sizable ps species are added listing of lic will be the chief contributor you know to this huge amount so actually the star of this disinvestment program is the lic and we are going to see how important is the disinvestment of lic it is remarkable that the lic was able to do its business on government's way you know since it was not answerable to any other shareholder so that is the significance of lic when you are, we are describing that the lic is the cash cow of the government the government has utilized the ready cash or liquidity with the uh, lic for several of its borrowing programs so and with the disinvestment or selling of shares of the lic this situation will change okay because the government has declared that it is going to make an ipo for lic's disinvestment the mega insurance entity should declare its financial engagement to the stock exchange so that is the remarkable factor you know here whenever the lic is doing some important business you know it has to disclose it to the stock exchange as well as to the shareholders so in effect the lic is not going to be the government's monopoly in the insurance sector no more after its disinvestment okay